Hey, what's up guys? Tony here. And usually this is a Tuesdays with Tony sort of day, but because Valentine's Day is on Thursday, I figured what I would do is actually put off the Tuesdays with Tony episode for this week until Thursday because I want to do a, a Valentine's Day themed commentary and I thought it'd be premature to do it today and way too late to do it next Tuesday. So I'll wait till Thursday. But so you guys might be wondering what am, what am I watching right now? This is a flying video, obviously, and there's a picture in picture going on right now. And so to explain this real quick before I get on to the actual commentary, the idea that I have at hand, this is sort of the infant stage of an idea of a hands-on video series that I want to do for flying and maybe even just playing just to show you guys how I go about controlling the sticks in, you know, infantry, tanks, jets, helicopters, you know, you name it, anything that has to do with battlefield. And I want to do this specifically for flying because I have a, a fair amount of people who will send me some messages or they'll... they'll They'll send me a message on, on Twitter and they'll ask, uh, how do you do what you do? And, and it kind of, <laughs> it takes me back because I don't think like I'm a great pilot. I think I'm a, like an okay, good pilot, you know, maybe like an average pilot. There are plenty of people who are way better than me. Um, I'll tell you the, the video you're going to watch, it's not going to display like my full skill set because I run into a lot of stuff. And a lot of that has to do is because I was really nervous. Uh, this is the first game. I just kind of went in cold, playing by myself. And the reason why I was nervous is because I was recording my hands. I was recording everything, and I, I got really nervous. And I don't know about you guys, but I, I'm used to playing uh, with, with teammates, with people, with friends. So when I go into a game cold and solo, I don't know, I just get a little nervous. I, I just, you know, there's sort of that anticipation. So you'll see my flying is, is not as good as you might have seen it before. But since this was, this was the only... This is the only set that I actually recorded because my camera died like right in the middle of this gameplay. Uh, I, this is all I had for that night and I haven't got around to making it again because I wanted to actually put together this preliminary video before I went ahead and decided to do the whole series. And the series I think is going to be like this picture in picture with some live comms so you guys can hear my thoughts as I'm actually playing so you guys can get an idea of how I all put it all together. So if you guys like this format let me know and I'll go ahead and proceed on um, with the series. If not, if it's not something you're interested in, no big deal. I can just can it. I figured I'd at least get this video. I put enough time and effort into this part. I might as well use it for something. So uh, what I want to get on to is the air superiority mode in in-game. And that is probably one of the more talked about features in in-game because, I mean, there's going to be capture the flag for the first time. And I don't know if it's the first time in Battlefield altogether. I, I don't remember there being a capture of like ever in Battlefield since I played Battlefield 2 and then sporadically, you know, Battlefield like Bad Company 2 and then now of course Battlefield 3. So I don't remember capture, capture the flag mode. So uh, for those of you guys who are like die hard, like been playing Battlefield since, I don't know, the Battlefields of, of yesteryear plus like Battlefield 2142 or there was one futuristic one that I, I never even touched. But uh, if you guys know, let me know in the comment section. Um, but anyways, the other one is, is air superior, superiority mode. And basically, it's it's going to, from what I can guess, and what I can tell from the trailers and the, the trailer breakdowns, is that it's going to be essentially like a domination, like it was in 1943. You know, you go in there and you're going to have your air superiority mode around like a, a there was I think it was like a barrage balloon or some sort of a, a blimp. And uh, you just sort of, in like tank superiority, you just sort of hold this objective. You fight over it. So I, I imagine it's, it's going to be something like that. But where the concern comes in and the things that I've been thinking about are how, how are people going to play this? Because when you, for Armored Kill, when we started playing tank superiority, it became, I thought it was going to be tank on tank, you know, main battle tanks and tank destroyers and the whole thing. Well, then all of a sudden it became like, um, javelins were being launched, RPGs were being fired, and suddenly you're dealing with infantry as well as tanks, um, and, and it got to be quite chaotic. And it makes me wonder how they're going to deal with guys who bail out of their airplanes. You know, if you bail out of your airplane, I wonder if you automatically go into this like out of bound zone where you got 10 seconds before you die. Because could you imagine what what happens? Guys who get shot down are going to bail out of their aircraft, and they're going to pull their stinger out. And they're going to just start shooting stingers at every jet that's around. And, and uh, I think that might take away from the game mode personally. Because if it's supposed to be this epic, you know, hopefully 12 on 12. That's kind of, well, 
for consoles. For us consoles, it'll be 12 on 12. And that's kind of what I hope it's going to be is this 12 on 12, you know, jet fight, you know, this furball's dog fight over these uh, these various maps. And so I think if guys are able to bail out and uh, shoot off some stingers or some iglas, it might take away from the game mode. The last thing I want to deal with is, you know, 10 other jets on the enemy team plus two assholes firing off stingers as they're parachuting down to earth, you know. Uh, so I really, I kind of hope that they take that aspect, the bailout. Maybe you can't bail out. I don't know. That's what I would like. I would like to see like a no bailout, go down with the ship kind of a thing. Uh, but I, that's what I'd like to see. But as I'm thinking about it, I don't think that's going to be in there. And you can already tell that that's already sort of irking me. I'm like, oh, that's going to suck because these guys are going to be shooting off stingers and shit. Or maybe RPGs to get those like epic you know, RPG shots, you know, and people are making montages of taking out jets and as they're perishing down in air superiority mode. <laughs> I can see it already. Um, but the other thing I thought about was how best to, to utilize the jets in that mode. And from my experience, what I've noticed is that um, the loadouts that I tend to like to use, and for you jet guys who happen to be coming across this video, or if you're subscribed to me and you're a jet guy as well, uh, I want to know what what do you, what is your loadout usually like? Say for the vanilla maps for Armor Kill, um, and what do you think your loadout is going to be for Air Superiority? And so I'll go ahead and tell you right now, my loadout for the vanilla maps uh, is always it's radar, rockets, and flares. It was ECM jammer, but ECM jammer is really annoying the shit out of me right now, so I might as well just use flares uh, and fly away and not have to worry about the jammer going off and then having missiles orbit me until the jammer wears off and then slam into me. I'd rather just flare, be done with it, leave the combat area and come back. So there, because I was a big like ECM jammer guy for a long time. I think most people were until they messed with countermeasures with the armored kill patch and they messed with the, you know, the, the stingers and iglas, the lock on times and the ranges. And so they really kind of tweaked things. They made it, they made it really hard on, on, on pilots. So like I said, so for me, it is um, the air radar is is pretty much. Yeah, I just have to have it. You know, it, it helps me out to spot, you know, tanks on the ground, jets and helicopters in the air. Um, so it's radar, rockets, and uh, and flares. Now for um, armored kill, because jets really, I don't know. I'm not the best at strafing and killing guys with my cannons, um, and because really the jets are there to take on the, the aircraft the, uh, the the other the enemy aircraft and the helicopters and of course the AC-130 when it spawns um, you know I'll run you know instead of rockets I'll run the uh, heat seekers and that's usually that's that for me that works out great because it becomes you like it feels like you as a jet pilot it feels like you have purpose you have purpose to be up in the air uh, is not just sort of like this novelty thing because you know if nobody gets in you know a jet in the in the vanilla maps if nobody gets in the jet, you're just sort of like flying in circles, you know, strafing guys on the ground, and you really don't have a purpose. But at least for Armored Kill, people still get in the AC-130, and they still try to rain death and destruction down from, you know, the pea shooter that is now the AC-130. And so it gives you something to do. You're like, oh, the AC-130 is up. Let me go shoot that guy down. Because it'll spawn like every 90 seconds. So it gives you something to do if you've got the, the, the skies totally dominated. And so that's what I'm running for armored kill and now like I got thinking about this today it was oddly enough I was driving to school and for whatever reason air superiority was on my mind and I started thinking I'm like okay from the trailer that I saw there were a lot of people firing missiles and so I mean the cannons are already a given uh, missiles I think are gonna be what everyone goes to because I mean what you, what you, you're not gonna need rocket pods or you're not gonna be guided missiles for for anything so it's gonna be heat seekers for sure but the thing that got me thinking is are people going to use air radar or are they going to use some other first slot? And I was, and the more I got thinking about it, the more I thought that beam scanning might be a better way to go. Because usually when you think about, for those of us who use air radar, we're using air radar so we can find one of the two jets that might be behind us or circling us or, or you know, well, you're in a dogfight. And so um, if there's going to be 12 on 12 jets, there's going to be so many targets in the sky that... I don't think air radar is going to be useless because you'll be able to find guys, but if people are going to be using 
heat seekers the way they I think they're going to be using heat seekers beam scanning will be the probably the best best sort of perk to use just because of the fact that you can lock on to guys really quick fire missile off switch to guns you know attack someone else lock on you know switch to uh, your heat seekers again lock on a guy really quickly fire off a missile and keep going about this very rapid pace of dogfighting and I think that might be the way to go I don't know I'm hesitant because I've become so attached to my air radar that I haven't actually not used it in a long time so it might be for me it'll take me a little while to get used to it but I'm kind of curious to know what you guys think because there's a, there's a bunch of different ways that people are set up and um, you know oh and maybe you guys might think about using I don't know extinguisher over flares that's something else I thought about too it keep you in the dogfight a little longer if you're getting peppered by rounds I mean um, I have a feeling that to be honest, I feel, my feeling is that all the try-hard jet pilots, the second end game comes out, boom, they're in there playing air superiority mode. And so I'm because I'm not like the greatest jet pilot, I'm a little nervous going in there being like the middle range pilot and, uh, and, and coming against those guys who are just awesome with jets. And then the range, you know, coming against the guys that I might not be so good. So I'm a little nervous about it. But... Uh, I think probably that's why I've been thinking about what perks I'm going to use. So I'm, I'm curious, like I said, what what sort of attachments do you, are you guys thinking about for jets for air superiority mode? So anyways, guys, um, like I said, I'm going to be doing the Tuesdays with Tony on Thursday for Valentine's Day. And let me know if you guys like this sort of hands-on video series. And if so, I'll actually put it into production and try to find a, a time you know during the week to actually make sure I get one out every week so anyways guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and, uh, and I'll talk to you guys later